Hello friends, I am Justin Paul from Computer Science and Engineering Department. Today I am here with my fifth experiment of the uh, compiler lab and it's two pass assembler for SIC. The aim of the experiment is to simulate the concept of single pass assembler for simplified instructional computer. First of all, let's understand what is an assembler. So, an assembler is a program that accepts as input an assembly language program and produces its machine language equivalent along with the formation for the loader. So, here you can see there's an assembly language program that is given to the assembler and then a linker and then we get the exe file executable program. We have the algorithm, the open and read the input file. If the input file has the output start, do the following. In the same way, if it's n, some do the following like that. We have if it's word, what to do, if it's byte, what to do. That's the algorithm, and then we have three files one is input.txt, optab, and syntab. So we have already made it. So this is our input.txt. You can see copy start thousand ld alpha st beta like that. So this is the input file and then we have our op tab sta and lda so let's go to this program so this is how my program looks like so we have a file equals open uh, in the read mode and we have passed the file 3.txt that is the input file and then I have declared a variable cont and then I am reading all the uh, inputs given in that file that is file dot read lines used for reading the multiple lines after that I am closing the file after that we have declared an array or list uh, using the opt opt and then I have used a for loop for j in cont then s is equal to j uh, from the starting till the last element dot split we are splitting with space there uh, whether there is a space then we will be splitting it after that we have declared s of 0 we are passing that s of 1's value to opt s of 0 after that file is equal to open we are opening other uh, the other file then again we are reading the fi file content and then closing the file we have declared u is equal to 0 then again we have used a for loop again we are splitting it with space and then we are incrementing the count of u after that again we have used a for loop for p in d v is equal to uh, space dot join d of p then we have uh, like given the start as thousand the starting address as thousand and location counter is initialized as zero after that we have given key is equal to reserve word reserve byte byte word and then if it start then we are initializing location counter and start as thousand else we are initializing it as zero after that we are passing the value d of zero zero to name and then again we are using a for loop and if it's end then we are breaking if it's uh, in the op that is a not then we are incrementing the location counter by 3 if it's a reserve word then we are uh, using the formula location counter is equal to location counter plus 3 into int of d of j uh, to and the same way for reserve byte and for word and for byte we are using the same thing and then we are appending it with the location counter after that we have used size is equal to hex of location counter minus start and it's going from uh, the second position till the last and then we are converting it into upper using dot upper function if the length of size is equal to is equal to 1 then we are initializing size is equal to 0 plus size and then again a for loop for j in range 1 to u minus r then we are inside we are checking whether if d of j l in opt if it's there then k is equal to opt d of j l if it's in var then f is equal to hex where d of j comma J2 minus start. It's also starting from 2 till the end of the file, uh, and then we are converting it into upper using dot upper function. After that, if you come down, there's some if loop and else loop. Then we are printing it. H is for header, and T is for text, and E is for end. After that, we are passing the name, the starting address, the size, and in between for the text, we are using size is equal to hex, uh, length of size is equal to 1. And this way, we are let me run and show you how the output looks. So, you can see this is what the input file, and uh, this is what uh, this um, 
we can see this alpha 1006 beta 1009 and then this is how the output looks so this is what the output had uh, the name of the uh, name of the program then the starting address length of the code and then the text records and then the end record so i hope you may have understood the concept of assembler thank you for watching my video please do like share and subscribe thank you